CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up multicast with a premium series Avalonix IP camera from CCTV Camera World. Here in my notes, I have a few things that you're going to want to have open on your computer to follow this guide. One is a web browser. Here I'm using Microsoft Edge, but you can use Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera GX, or whatever browser you prefer. You're also going to want to open a notepad. I have the default Microsoft notepad open on my Windows computer. And then last but not least, you are going to want to download and install VLC Media Player. You can download that from https colon forward slash forward slash www.videolan.org. I have that URL here in my notepad. So you can just type that in your browser and download it and install the VLC Media Player. So there are two methods to set up multicast using the camera. You can either do it through the plain TCP IP protocol, which uses an RTSP stream, or you can do it through UDP, which uses a UDP stream. So in order to set up the easier TCP IP stream, it's actually enabled by default, but I'll go ahead and show you where you can either disable it, enable it, or modify the IP address. So you are going to need to type in the IP address for your camera in the network, and then hit enter on your keyboard in the browser. And then you're going to need to log in using the username and password. Either hit enter on your keyboard or click log in. You'll get video from the camera. And then you need to go to the setting tab. Inside of the setting tab, there is the network menu. You click on network. Inside of the network sub menu, there's going to be a multicast page. And by default, the multicast for the mainstream and substream is enabled. And then you have your multicast address. And you can set an address in between any of these numbers in these octets for the multicast address. And then the default multicast address port is 40,000. So if I go to VLC Media Player, and then you, if you want to use the TCP IP method, the default one that's enabled, then you do need to craft an RTSP URL, much like you would if you were trying to stream the camera or just look at its stream in VLC Media Player. And then the caveat here is that there is the unicast equals false at the end here. So there are some arguments that you add to the end of your RTSP stream URL. So the basic RTSP URL would be RTSP colon forward slash forward slash username colon password and then at the LAN IP of your camera. Again, that's the IP address I used to log into its web browser colon port 554, which is the default RTSP port forward slash cam forward slash real monitor question mark channel equal one. That means it's pulling data from the camera and subtype equals zero. So that would be the mainstream. If you want to pull the substream, then you do subtype equal one. And last but not least, like I mentioned, and unicast equal false. So this means that it's not doing a unicast RTSP stream. It's doing the multicast RTSP stream. So as long as it's enabled, I can come over to VLC Media Player and I need to highlight this and either do control C on my keyboard or right click and click copy. And then I can come into VLC Media Player. For my tech savvy users, you can do control V and do paste. It's going to do the open URL and automatically paste it in there, in which case I can click play. Or you can also exit out of that menu, click media, click open network stream, and then right click and click paste. And then click play. So like I mentioned, as long as that's enabled and you have the correct arguments, then you'll be able to get a multicast TCP IP stream from the camera. So in order to stop this, I just need to click the stop button. And now I'm going to show you how to enable the UDP multicast stream with the camera. So you'll note here there's a couple different URLs that I've created and entered into my notepad. So this one is enable equal false. And this one is enable equal true. So enable equal true means you're going to turn on the UDP multicast streaming. And the enable equals false means you're going to turn off the UDP multicast streaming. Now by default, it will be disabled. So it will be the enable equal false. When you first boot up your camera and start it up, you won't be able to get a UDP multicast stream from your camera until you copy 
and paste this and enter it or type it into your web browser and then hit enter. So that's why I recommend using a notepad just so you can develop and create these URLs and then just copy and paste them into your browser as I'll show you here in a moment. And it's also good practice if you're going to use one or the other to turn the other one off. For example, I'm going to show you UDP streaming and I'm going to go ahead and disable the built-in TCP IP multicast streaming because I don't want to send the same data to two different multicast address at the same time. It's just going to bog down your camera and it may even bog down your network because it is sending a lot of data from the camera to and through your network. So I've gone ahead and disabled it in the web interface and now I can open a new tab in Edge and then I can go ahead and copy this string. Again, in order to enable it, you need to do HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the current IP address of the camera forward slash CGI dash bin forward slash config manager. Now it is cap sensitive, so you're going to want to do lowercase config and then uppercase for the M in manager and then dot CGI question mark action equal set config. Once again, set lowercase and then the C in config uppercase and then ampersand the and sign multicast with a capital M dot TS, both capital, a left bracket, the number zero, right bracket, dot enable with a capital E equals true. So I'm going to copy this string. I'm going to paste it into edge, into the URL bar, and then hit enter on my keyboard. And you're going to want to get a status of OK. If you for some reason get a different status or you get like a 404 not found or a different error, then you want to make sure that you double check your UDP enable URL and make sure that you have no errors in it. And like I said, it may be cap sensitive, so make sure that you uh, pay attention to the caps in the example I have here on my notepad. But once again, you'll notice I got a OK status, which means that the command was successfully sent to the camera. And last but not least, you can also set your multicast address for the UDP feature with this string. And that's just essentially the same thing, except at the end, instead of dot enable, it's going to be dot multicast adder. And that's a capital M for multicast and a capital A for adder and equals and then um, the multicast address. It does need to be in between the parameters as shown on the web interface for the camera. So it would need to be in between these two numbers and octets to successfully take the command. I've already set mine to this default 224.1.2.4, but I'll show you if I go ahead and copy and then paste this into the URL and hit enter. I'm going to get an OK status. So it's just set that multicast address once again. And then last but not least, just like we did for the TCP IP RTSP stream, we do need to copy and paste this UDP URL into VLC to make sure that our stream is working. So that would be UDP colon forward slash forward slash at the multicast address that you set. The default one should be 224.1.2.4 and then colon 20,000. So for my astute viewers, you may notice that the port number is different for the different streams available to you through multicast. So for UDP, you need to make sure that you use the default port of 20,000. For RTSP, that's 554, or it's using the multicast port of 40,000. So again, for UDP, make sure you're using port 20,000. And then once again, you can copy this, Control C on your keyboard, or right click and click copy. And then I'm just going to do Control V in Media Player and then click the play button. So provided that you followed these steps correctly and your network is not blocking multicast traffic for whatever reason, you've set the multicast address and then you're using that address with port 20,000, you should be able to do a multicast UDP stream over your local network. So again, regardless of which method you use, TCP, IP or UDP, it's fairly simple to get multicast set up on your network with the camera sending video to multiple clients without sending multiple streams through your network. It's essentially just going to send one stream to this multicast address and then allow whatever client you need to access that stream. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.
If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.